This upgrade to Adagio Payables 9.2a has significant changes to vendors and transactions and many new features and is now installed to the Softrack Payables directory and run from the payables.exe program. As part of the upgrade process, you will be asked if you want to apply formatted addresses to your vendors. This restructures the address fields to use specific city and province or state fields, which allows nicer address formatting for checks. Formatted addresses also apply to alternate payees if these are used. The field layout when editing vendors has been reorganized in a fashion similar to receivables customers for consistency. The vendor tab has contact information and a new accounting tab has information used for transaction entry and reporting. New options are available to print one system check for each invoice and include an incrementing number for auto-generated invoices and cash invoice document numbers that includes the date. Vendor alert functionality now mirrors what is currently available for receivables customers, where multiple alerts may be active for a vendor and appear for selected functions only. These alerts can be suppressed from appearing again at runtime and require user initials to verify the alert was read. Information about the last time an alert was triggered or deactivated and by who can also be seen. The Transactions tab has a number of new improvements. Vendor transactions are now stored in a way so that you can choose to display not only current or historical transactions, but also both at the same time. You may choose to sort the transactions on any of these grids, either ascending or descending, and by either the date or the document number. Transactions can be found by typing in the document number and pressing the tab key to highlight the record in the grid. This can be focused to a specific transaction type if desired. Transaction summary aged amounts by due date are available at the bottom of the screen, automatically calculated when the tab is opened. If invoices have been payment controlled, with a status of either forced or on hold, a total summary amount for each status is displayed below. Whenever an invoice is edited and the status is changed, these totals are immediately updated. These totals may also be displayed on vendor grids using the column editor, and filters may be set up to select vendors based on these totals. The underlying batch structure has not yet had the major changes as for ledger or receivables, but there are some new features available. When editing a batch, you can now use the column editor to include the vendor name on the grid to more easily identify transactions within a batch. This is available for all three batch types, invoices, manual checks, and adjustments, and also the payments tab for generated invoices within a system check run. When using the find vendor process, here or from the edit vendor list screen, you now have a document number as an available search field, in addition to the vendor number, name, and phone number. Simply type the document number and tab from the field to load the vendor. If duplicate document numbers exist, the vendor for the first number is loaded but you can use the field finder to select a different vendor. And for vendors with auto-generated invoice numbers, the next sequential number will be included if defined.
It is now possible to set a group of vendors as inactive, in the same way as for inactive customers in Adagio receivables. From the Maintenance menu, choose Mark Vendors Inactive. Enter a date to determine the last activity boundary, and optionally include additional criteria to limit vendor selection. Click the Preview button to list all vendors with a zero outstanding balance, no current transactions, and an earlier last activity date. To further restrict selection to vendors without history, select the option to exclude vendors with historical transactions, and click Preview to refresh the list. Select a vendor to be inactive by either highlighting in the grid and clicking the Mark Line button, or pressing the spacebar. All listed vendors can be selected with the Mark All button. For confirmation, you can click the View button to open the vendor in inquiry mode and determine if the vendor should really be set as inactive. Use the Print button to generate a report with all the listed vendors and those that are marked to become inactive. To set all selected vendors as inactive, click the Process button. Confirm the changes by clicking Yes, and the procedure is complete. A similar function is also available from the Maintenance menu to delete inactive vendors. Create a list of vendors to select from the last activity date and vendor ranges, and click the Preview button to generate the list. This includes the choice to exclude vendors with historical transactions. You may also include all inactive vendors within the range by enabling the option to select vendors already flagged as inactive, regardless of the last activity date. You may also ignore the vendor activity date and selection ranges by disabling the option to select vendors according to criteria and use only the choice to list inactive vendors, with or without historical transactions. Inactive vendors cannot be marked for deletion if they have any current transactions or a balance. Click the Process button to delete the marked vendors. Adagio Payables 9.2a and all future upgrades at the 9.2a version has a new underlying report structure based on a more current version of Crystal Reports to simplify installation and removing the need for report tables and directories. For this reason, if you use custom or modified Crystal Reports, they will need to be converted to the new standard. To find out how to do this, click this link to the video demonstrating the use of the Report Conversion Utility and also the new version of Print Tool required to print custom reports. From the Reports menu and Transactions, a new Aged Open Payables report is available to print transactions like the Open Payables report, but with additional aging columns based on the document date. This is different than the Aged Overdue Payables report which prints only outstanding transactions and ages them by due date. The Aged Open Payables report can also include fully paid transactions and the apply details. All batch listing reports now have a new option to print the GL summary of distributions prior to the batch being posted. This section will mimic the results already available on the respective posting journals. For users of Adagio ePrint, a new code is available to embed the report date into a PDF file name or directory if this differs from today or the date used on sign-on. In the ePrint options of reports that have a report date, use the percentage CDT code to include this value. 
When printing to PDF, the directory or file name will use the report date and updated if the report date is changed. Changes have been made to control account handling for ease of use and protection against posting to improper accounts. Prior releases of Adagio Payables required purging all posting journals in order to allow editing a control account record, such as a clearing account. This restriction has now been lifted, and even if uncleared posting journals exist, a control account can be edited to make necessary changes. Also, reconciling control account amounts to the GL balance can be difficult if a direct posting to a control account has been made. Now, a company profile option to allow posting to control account is available. If this option is disabled, then attempting to save a distribution detail to a control account is prohibited. <laughs>